All right. So I'm Chris. I'm with OrthoScan Mini C Arm. I'm going to go over the OrthoScan Mini C Arm as of right now. Just to start off, I'm going to show you how it looks put away. As you can see, there is a ledge on the unit. You want to put the detector on the ledge. Use your bungee. Go over the detector. Right on the hook. You'll see too, this monitor folds down into itself. If you're going through a tight doorway, you might just want to pop it back. Other than that, we'll be using less space and it'll be as compact as possible when put away. To start it, green button right there. It'll boot up in 40 to 45 seconds. We'll go over more of the body of the system right now. You have your printer in the back, open. Give it a little slack on the paper, close, and that's all you'll have to do with the printer unless you are changing. It turns on with the equipment though. The wheels, right now we are in neutral. Front wheel steering. This is where you'll mostly likely be pushing down the hall. How you'll use it in the OR in neutral. Lock. Monitor itself rotates 180 degrees, move it around vertically as well. Hold on. We didn't go over it, but the power cord, retractable. You've used one, you've used them all. As you can see, too, we are now up and ready to go. When you see this home page, if you're in a hurry, you can put the patient info before, during, or after the case. So as of right now, we are able to start our case. Arm, as you'll see, there's going to be a lot of reach from the cabinet into the serial field right here. We'll go over a little more of what we can do on the arm. Wireless foot pedal, you'll be able to save and take an image. We'll go over more imaging later. On the arm itself, as you'll see, bilateral controls. Aspects you can do on the functionality you can do on the arm. You can image. The imaging up here is going to be the same as on the wireless foot pedal. We can rotate our images. We have surgical lights. Save right here. These two will hold tags. They will hold reference points. If you like a primary image and you want to hold it through the case, this would be tag one. It will hold in the upper right hand of your screen. This would be tag two. You can hold on the lower left, the lower right of your screen. To untag them, press them again, press it again. The images will rotate through clockwise. You have your KVMA here. Adjust this system itself. If you see the manual, this system is intuitive, it's automatic. You'll just press auto. We'll go back into automatic mode. There's another way to do that on the board that I will show you later. Under here, you'll see you have your collimator. If you see it pulled out, it's going to be a magnified view. For some reason, if it's not all the way pulled out or pulled in, you'll get a line through the image. Just push it back in. This is where you'll get your largest 6x6 view, and that's mostly where you're going to want to be at all times. As you'll see with the low profile detector, you can put it right flat on the table and it will sit there for the entire case. You can work on the detector itself. It's reinforced the cameras at the bottom. You have your laser right on top here. If I hit it once, it will stay on for a minute. If I hold down, you'll see the blink. It will stay on for the entire case. With the imaging, 
as I said, hold down on the foot pedal. As long as we are in automatic mode with the new technology we are using in the detector, the ramp up time will be faster. It's intuitive. Just hold down. I'm going to hit the black instead of the orange since I'm not going to expose. Instead of just tapping. So just hold down. You'll see the surgeon's in control of it. You'll see the image rise from dark to light. A lot of motion on the arm, over rotates itself to control that over rotation on the arm. There's a half lock right here. Put it down, you've added the resistance. Take it off. Completely counterbalance. Right here, they're now lefty loosey, ready tighty, controls the resistance vertically. Moving to the functionality of the board, once again you'll see we can adjust the KV up here, press escape, we're now back in the automatic mode. As you'll see too, it says manual mode, escape to exit, escape. Rotate our images, annotation, left to right, boost, boost is going to be if you're going through a thicker ankle, hit the boost button. Raise your KVs here manually, 78160. You'll be able to get a little more power to go through those thicker pieces of anatomy. When you're done with it, press escape, boost off, and now you'll be able to start the rest of the case. Going over the functionality of the one touch on the board, recall is going to pull up all older cases, images that have only been saved, not every image you've taken, only images that have been saved to the system. The system itself can hold up to 8,000 images. During a single case, you'll be able to take up to 512 of those, 512 images. When I press escape now, escape is going to bring me back to the previous screen. I'm going to go page info now. Once again, you add this before, during, or after. Add as little or as much as you want. Usually go off what the hospital's protocol is, on ascension numbers, and page information. You could use tab through. You could use your cursor as well. When you're done, all you have to do is come down and press accept. I'm going to go back into recall. I'm going to pull up a case. Now, through recall, I'm actually going to pull up a case. But what you'll see after pulling up recall is also what case review will look like. Case review is just going to be what you'll go into after a case to get the thumbnail sheet of all the images that you've taken. It'll be four by four, and now to move in, this is where you'll send the packs, you'll be able to print, save images that might have not been saved with the foot pedal or on the tube head itself. To do this, say we're sending the packs, You'll see our white highlighter box right here. You'll arrow through on the bottom right keyboard. I want to send eight and four to packs. What I'm going to do is hit my space bar. You'll see I left my highlight, my check, however you want to remember it. I'm also going to do it to four. See, these are the only two with the white boxes around it. Now when I come down to DICOM send all, I'll select it, I would press OK, and you'll have the capability of being able to send over to PAX. Press escape to get myself out of there. For some reason, if I want to send those two, four and eight, to DICOM, but I only want to print eight, what I would do is, oh, I'm sorry, edit that part. What I would do is go to four, use my highlighter, press the space bar again, and you'll see I've unselected. Now eight, when I come down to my print all, that all represents all that you've selected. I've only selected the one, print. As you see on all these images, we went through recall, so you see cylinders on the lower left-hand corner. These cylinders 
represent save. They've been saved during the case. If you shut down this system now, one through nine of these images will be saved. If you do not see this cylinder and you have not saved going through and pressing save all down here, those images will be lost. During a case, when I press enter to enlarge any image, on the upper right hand corner, that represents saved as well. When I escape, get back. Moving through as well, save. Save is going, if you want to save from the board, this save correlates with the primary image. Controls the primary image as well as print during a case. DVR is video. Case review, we just went over. Save all aspects, if you hit, you will now, if you press save all before the beginning of the case, it will save every single right? image. Yes. Okay. So now, if you wanted to go through, if you wanted to change your patient information, or for some reason there was a mistake, during, before the case, and you wanted to change everything, I would go into recall, I want to change default to a patient name, I'm going to hit on my cursor, right here, on the right, I'm going to pull up patient data, I'm going to add new information. I'm going to go to update. I've hit my update. As you'll see, we're Mr. Test now instead of default. I'll go here. We want to resend the packs. I'm selecting it. Come here to Diacom Send All. See, I would press OK. We'd be able to send. Get out of there. Escape brings me back to the previous screen. But start from the beginning of the case. We've added our patient info. We press accept. We're done with this case E4. Now to go to the next case without shutting down the system, press patient info. Clear data. What you'll see is image is not saved, we lost, continue. Yes, I'm ready to move on to my X case. Patient mode pops up. Now when I'm shutting the system down, you can shut down from any page. Green power button again. Wait 10 to 15 seconds. You hear a fan shut down or a blink from this light. When you hear the fan shut down or see the blink, go ahead and unplug it. 